and we're gonna go ahead and rip this Mew VMAX up and draw our last prize cards to win the game. Merciless Strike takes the dub. You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Zach Lesage here, word up. Today, we're gonna be going over the new stage two Obstagoon. This deck has already been taking up spots in top cuts on the Play Limitless website. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the deck profile and showcasing some awesome gameplay. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and the list is gonna be in the description so you can copy and paste that right into PTCGO. You know, as we always say it, let's get it. So Obstagoon has its Merciless Strike attack. That's the reason why we're playing this card for the most part. For a single Dark Energy, you do 60 damage and if your opponent's active Pokemon has any damage counters on it, you're doing 60 plus 90. The other cool thing about this deck is that it is darkness type, so a lot of the top decks are weak to dark, such as Dragapult VMAX, Mew VMAX, even Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. And this deck is only worth one prize card uh, for each of the Obstagoons. So as a single prize card attacking deck, it's really good. How are you going to get those damage counters on there? You're going to be using Zigzagoon's Headbutt Tantrum. Uh, so when you play it from your hand, you could put it on your bench and place a damage counter to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And that certainly can add up very quickly with Merciless Strike. Um, of course, you could always use Silence if your opponent's uh, Pokemon is going to be affected by that. So look for opportunities that Silence can work. We also have the whole Sobble Drizzle line to do shady dealings. That also means that we have access to the Quick Shooting Inteleon, which can also um, kind of fulfill Merciless Strike very quickly by adding damage counters to your opponent's Pokemon. I decided to go with two copies of this Inteleon because since we are playing a stage two deck, we do have rare candy that we want to be searching out. And there's a lot of cool trainers that we have in the deck. Basically, rare candy allows us to go from Zigzagoon very quickly all the way into an Obstagoon. And we can also go Sobble into even a quick shooting Inteleon or or an Inteleon with Shady Dealings, whichever one works better. Um, Raihan, a lot of players ask, why would you play Raihan in a deck like this? Because you only require one energy. Well, it is a way for you to recycle some of those energies back. We only play five Darkness energies, and uh, it allows us to search our deck for any card. So maybe we have the Rare Candy in our hand and we're searching for an Obstagoon, or we have the Obstagoon in our hand and we're searching for a Rare Candy. It basically allows us to get some of those missing pieces out of the way. Uh, beyond that, we added the new Shauna in the deck. So instead of playing uh, Marnie and kind of putting Razor at the bottom of your deck, I think it's better just to uh, shuffle your hand and draw five. It's just more consistent in general for a deck like this. Um, this list is heavily inspired by Jake Earhart's list. So shout out to Jake Earhart for inspiring me as a player. Really appreciate it. Let's jump into some gameplay with this deck and see exactly what it can do. So we lost the coin flip, that's okay. Um, it might give us a chance to get set up. It's one of the reasons why we might wanna put uh, the keep calling Sobbles in our deck, but we'll see exactly uh, how this game gets set up. Uh, we should be okay to just like put down um, a couple basic Pokemon and just eventually rare candy or evolve into Lanoon or stuff like that. Uh, so this deck, considering we are a stage two deck and our Pokemon are only worth one prize card each, going second necessarily doesn't hurt us as bad. And our hand's pretty good here, as you can see. So we are going to start with the Zigzagoon, um, just because that's how it's going to be. Uh, normally, we wouldn't want to start with Zigzagoon, but since we're actually evolving, Zigzagoon just seems to be the ideal start. And we're playing against some kind of Genesect deck, or maybe it's a Mew VMAX deck. I actually just really don't know. We'll have to see if we're able to knock out these Genesect Vs with Fusion, uh, Fusion Strike System. And we'll see what... Um, see what's going on i think i'm playing against flow tk um yeah so we're playing against mu v uh this could be okay it might not be okay we'll see how it all plays out so um i think i'm just gonna go quick ball here quick ball away quick ball search my deck for another zigzagoon um i think zigzagoon here sounds great i'm gonna go ahead here and zigzagoon let's go for the genesect i guess Yeah, we'll put it on the Genesect. I think that seems fair. We're going to go Sobble, Sobble. And I really want to leave these because we can go ahead and grab a Drizzile, go Rare Candy right into an Obstagoon for next turn so we're ready to attack. Or, and we can grab a Professor's Research and just kind of uh, pop off on our second turn. So we're going to go ahead here and pass. I could have searched the deck a little bit better. Um, that's something that I need to hold myself a little bit more accountable to. And it's something that I do like to mention a lot in my videos. So you might be wondering, why do I think it's worthwhile to search for your prize cards? Well, it can allow me to decide which Pokemon I'm going to be knocking out quickly. 
Maybe I need to knock out the Oracorio to increase my damage output or something like that. Um, or maybe I need to do a lot of things. But it is one of those things overall where I need to know what percentage of cards I have in my prize cards or I don't have in my prize cards or what's going on. Um, these are all very important things as we play through the match. And maybe I have a disproportionate amount of energy in my prize cards and I really need to get one. Um, maybe I have a disproportionate amount of supporter cards and knocking out a two prize card Pokemon, even if it's not their main attacker, gives me a higher chance of getting there. So these are things where, again, I might just be missing ops to goons and I might need to come up with an alternative uh, win condition. Now, this matchup's pretty cool because their Mew VMAX is weak to, uh, it is weak to Dark. Uh, we have to watch out for Fusion Strike energy. Um, that might be difficult for us to deal with when it comes to this matchup. Um, because Fusion Strike energy would stop the damage from Zigzagoons and stuff like that. We would be able to do 150 damage to them. So 150 plus one, uh, or sorry, one damage counter from a Headbutt Tantrum would put this to 300. 150 times two on Merciless Strike does knock out a Mew VMAX. So that is something that they might be worried about. Um, they do have the Fusion Strike energy. So maybe I should have put it on the Mew um, instead of the Genesect. I really didn't think they were going to be attacking with the Mew. Or maybe they're just going to be doing something else with the Mew in general. But um, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. We might just attack with a, a Lanoon this turn, depending on how things go. Um, or maybe we won't. Maybe we want to go Fan of Waves in this deck. Fan of Waves could be really good. Um, it's something that we might want to worry about with any deck that's playing Inteleon. Fan of Waves could just be good against a Fusion Strike deck. Um, don't know. Oh, I guess they attached there. That's why. Um, let's go level ball here. We're going to go level ball and we are going to go ahead and grab a Linoon. We're going to go grab Linoon. <laughs> uh, Linoon sounds really good. We're going to put Linoon there. We are going to go ahead and go level ball here for a Drizzile. Uh, we're going to get rare candy set up on this one. So let's go ahead here and rare candy into our Obstagoon on the bench. And we could be, we could have a pretty good matchup. So this is one thing we can look through our prize cards, see exactly. So we do know instantly that we do have a rare candy prized. Um, we do have a couple of research prized. These are things that, again, we might have the disproportionate amount. We do have an energy prize. So we have to be careful about our energies. Raihan might be important. Um, so these are things that we just gotta like pay attention to as we pr kind of progress through uh, this game. And we have that. Let's go for another Drizzile. We're going to go for the Fresh uh, Professor's Research to draw seven cards. So I think that part's really awesome. Professor's Research. Sick. Um, here we're actually just not going to have anything. We, we just literally did not draw well. Um, and that sucks. It, it really does suck because we can't hit this Mew uh, because of the Fusion Strike energy. So this deck probably just needs Fan of Waves. Um, if Mew is going to be a big portion of the metagame. So as it, we'd normally beat a Dragapult deck, we'd normally beat a Shadow Rider, we still could probably beat the Mew VMAX deck, we just gotta be careful about how um, things get played out. But again, um, our opponent here has not drawn a single prize card. Um, so we they still have to go through six and they don't have any ways to draw extra prize cards. So they're gonna have to do a bunch of uh, difficult things in order to get set up. And maybe they'll be able to juggle their Mew VMAX by using uh, Cross Fusion Strike on their energy on their psychic leap and that might be the best way that they can get around things i'm not sure but we'll have to see how it plays out um we also got to watch out for lessons in uh, zeal um so all your fusion strike pokemon take 20 damage slash from your attacks from your opponent's pokemon um after applying weakness and resistance so that is something cool Cramomatic is also another cool card that we're seeing in a lot of these decks. Flip a coin if had, search your deck for a card, put it in your hand, uh, shuffle your deck, but you have to discard a card first. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool flip card in general. Um, at this point, I think they're just going to hit us for uh, 130 damage with Max Miracle. Uh, that seems to be the best option that they probably have. And we just got to continuously get set up. Max Miracle, cool. We're gonna go ahead and go Silence on this Mew V Max uh, because that's probably just gonna be our best oppor opportunity. We do need to find an energy uh, search, but we do have access to Inteleon here, so I think that's pretty cool. We actually just found the energy in general, so I'm pretty cool with that in general as well. So let's go um, Professor's Research, or not Professor's Research, Rescue Carrier. You can tell how uh, how great I am at uh, just doing math. Now we do 150 damage, um, 150 plus 10 equals 160 this brings it to 170 so i think that makes a lot of sense 
Um, yeah, we'll just go to the Genesect there because obviously the Fusion Strike energy stops any of the abilities done to this Pokemon this card's attached to. We are going to go ahead and just double check with Stormy Mountains. There's nothing really there. Um, let's go ahead and go Evolution Incense. Let's get set up with a Quick Shooting Inteleon so we can start doing stuff with that. We have an energy here, so I'm pretty cool with that in general too. Let's go ahead and get set up with this one as well. So let's go ahead and search our deck for a level ball. I think we want to go for like a level ball and a level ball. I think those are probably um, two things. Maybe we could go for a quick ball. I think we just want to go level ball, level ball. That's going to be able to grab us. Um, another Zigzagoon that's going to be able to grab us another um, Drizzile. Maybe maybe we just want to grab um, a Shauna. Shauna. Shauna might just be better in general. Uh, but I do like that we have access to Raihan, so we have ways to kind of get set up. So let's just go ahead here and use this level ball. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a Zigzagoon because we want to start getting those out in play uh, just so that we have options. Let's go ahead and hit this because Orcorio Lesson and Zeal is going to be really tough for us to deal with. Let's go ahead and go quick shooting again. Let's go hit the Orcorio because we're going to try to take that out. And when it comes to our hands, we have access to evolve this one. We can go Rare Candy, Obstagoon with the Raihan. So I'm feeling good with what we have available. Let's go Silent. I think Silence might be better. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks during that next turn. They can't use that attack. Um, they might make a mistake. I don't. I think they have free retreat. So let's just assume that they're are they're going to retreat into the other Mew. Let's go for Merciless Strike. Um, so it's going to deal 100 damage there because they had no damage counters. But at least this Mew VMAX, we can knock it out in a future turn. So our goal is to hit the Mew VMAX, hit that Mew VMAX. So attack that and then attack, attack. So we have three turns um, of attacking with Obstagoon is basically what our game plan is going to be. And I think we could actually get there because we still have access to rare candies, two of them. Um, so we just have to be prepared with three Obstagoons because they're just going to go ahead and copy uh, Techno Blast. I don't know why they attached a psychic energy to the Oracorio. Um, maybe just because. And they are going to get the knockout there. So let's go ahead here and send this up. I think uh, Zigzagoon is just quite the fitting Pokemon to send up. Let's go. Well, we did get the rare candy um, there. Into Obstagoon. Um, if this one's going to be a rescue carrier, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. I am going to go Raihan and search for the energy there. We can go ahead and grab another card. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab my other Raihan so that we're all set up with that. So I feel pretty good about that in general because they have to still go through five prize cards. That's, that's their thing. So we are going to go quick shooting onto this Oracorio again, trying to get uh, as close as we possibly can to some freebie prize cards. Um, there's no reason for me not to evolve. We've already used all of our things. So I don't feel comfortable yet using the rescue carrier. I'd like to grab more than one thing from it. So let's go ahead here and go for a merciless strike again. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. We're going to hit for another hundred damage. So this is really where the deck can take off because they don't have any ways to just heal as far as I'm concerned. Maybe they're going to play a tech Cheryl or something like that. Maybe they're trying to get rid of some cards. Maybe they have some cool whatever, um, but to me, it seems like they're just going to be using some attacks to try to get set up. Like, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Maybe they're just going to go max miracle to get the knockout. We will just be able to respond um, with an OHKO on their Mew VMAX. And that's where the deck is going to really take off. So we can use Raihan, grab the Obstagoon, grab an energy, get back uh, double Galarian Zigzagoon with Rescue Carrier. And we're going to be taking three prize cards this turn. It doesn't matter if we take any damage counters from uh, the old cemetery. As long as we're able to find Obstagoon energy here, we're absolutely in a great spot. Okay, um, as much as we don't have Obstagoon energy, we do have access to Evolution Incense uh, for Drizzile, which can get us some of those cards. So um, we're okay-ish. Sick. So let's go for the Galarian uh, Lanoon. 
and we did get an ordinary rod. Okay, so this is actually sick for us. So let's go ahead and go evolution incense. Um, yes. Let's go evolution incense, search your deck for a Drizzile. Drizzile is going to allow us to go ahead and grab... We're going to grab a Raihan with this. I think Raihan sounds like the absolute play. Would you like to search your deck for a trainer card? Yes. Um, we just want to double check too what's in our deck. We do have access to Raihan. We do have access to this Inteleon. I think that Inteleon is going to by far save our butts. Um, we are going to get an Obstagoon out of our deck and we are going to get an Energy out of the deck. Now, we are going to go Ordinary Rod, put some things back into our deck. Do we have access to another Drizzile? We do, in fact, have access to another Drizzile. <laughs> so we do have ways to make this happen. Let's go ahead and go... Um, yeah, we're going to go for Raihan here. Raihan it up. We're going to search for Obstagoon because we really need Obstagoon. Um, or we could use Evolution Incense and really just get set up with a Rare Candy or uh, Professor's Research next turn. That might just be better. Um, that's that's another opportunity that we could do. Um, I never thought of that while we were going through the deck. So let's... Uh, Maybe we don't want to waste it on a Galarian Obstagoon. Maybe we do want to go ahead and grab the Professor's Research. Um, so we are all set up to maybe win the game next turn, or maybe we want to go for a Scoop of Net or something else like that. Let's go Professor's Research it up. I think that sounds really good. Um, we are going to grab the Galarian Obstagoon. We are going to go for Ordinary Rod, shuffle the two Pokemon back into our deck. So we, let's grab uh, both these Galarian Zigzagoons because those both seem very important. Unfortunately, we are going to lose our quick shooting Inteleon, but we do need to get the Zigzagoon out of the way. Uh, that sounds very important. We are going to go quick shooting here uh, just to build up on the Oracorio to stop the Lessons and Zeal. And since everything else has damage counters on it, um, this has how much HP? So this has 190, 190 uh, plus 100 and uh, 50. So 20 plus 150, that's not going to be enough. So let's just hit the this Genesect. <sighs> okay, we are here. Let's go ahead and we are going to evolve into the Obstagoon. So uh, we're now able to go for Merciless Strike, Merciless Strike, boom. We are going to get that knockout on the Mew VMAX, which is absolutely crazy. So these aren't bad prize cards at all. Um, I, I really don't have any issues with that. And our opponent still has to go through a few more prize cards. So it depends on how they're going to play this out. They might go ahead and go for the cross fusion strike, um, copying Muse Psychic Leap. That might be the play. Um, they are going to go Marnie on us. So we might be able to get like an Evolution Incense, which can go ahead and grab us some other stuff. Or maybe we'll even get the Inteleon. Um, we did get Shauna, so I'm really not, like, upset at it. Cross Fusion Strike. Oh, they're going for the Techno Blast. That's kind of wild, though. Um, not necessarily expecting that. So we can actually take this game uh, this turn. So let's go ahead and send up Zigzagoon. Will we get it? That is not the piece that we are looking for. Um, we could go ahead... Um, I think we actually have our prize card. So before we go ahead and do anything, we're going to go ahead and attach this. Let's go ahead and play the Shauna, because we can get the knockout on the Oracorio. I think we have a rare candy <laughs> prize cards, which is the crazy part. Uh, we might be able to just rip it here, which would be insane. Uh, so let's go for the knockout on the Oracorio. We didn't get it, but we would have got the research, which is crazy. Um, let's go ahead and go for Zigzagoon here. Let's go Zigzagoon, place 10 damage on the Mew, because that's going to be very important when it comes to the knockouts. Now, we don't necessarily want to... We just want to leave this in the active spot, because our opponent actually can't get two knockouts. We have the level ball for a Drizzile next turn, so I think we're in a pretty good spot. Let's go ahead here and... Pass our turn. Now, if they don't knock out our Sobble, I think we're in a good spot. Um, if they do knock out our Sobble, I think we're in a really bad spot. Uh, because our Obstagoon is going to be hitting the discard pile, and we already used our Ordinary Rod to get it back. So that's another thing as we're playing through this deck and learning more about this archetype. Fan of Waves and maybe having an extra copy of, uh, what's it called? Having an extra copy of Ordinary Rod or a way to get back Obstagoon. I think Ordinary Rod's probably just the best way. Uh, that might work well in this deck. So, um, 
It's one of those things while we are playing this deck and discovering, I'm just trying to find as much as possible here as well. Um, I don't know how many bosses orders that uh, our opponents played this game, but I mean, it's it's possible. We'll see how it goes. I mean, if they go ahead and knock out the Sabo, we might have a way to just top deck in, out of it next turn. Um, like we could just top deck into the rare candy. That's quite a real possibility. So there's the Mu V and they're just gonna go for a Psychic Leap. Not sure where they're putting the damage counters. Um, okay. Well, this makes it tough for us a little bit, but we will uh, we will go ahead and get set up. So I think we can go rare candy and we can go uh, boss here. So we did actually just get the dub. We also have the air balloon. So we are gonna go Inteleon and we are gonna get the rare candy. So we are gonna take the dub here, uh, rare candy. Uh, we have the boss already, but we can go ahead and grab boss. Um, we are gonna give our opponent a nice well played. Let's go ahead and go rare candy here on the Zigzagoon and that's gonna get us into the Opsagoon. Let's go dark energy attached to Opsagoon and we're gonna go ahead and rip this Mew VMAX up and draw our last prize cards to win the game. Merciless Strike takes the dub. It is absolutely insane. Well played to our opponents. And that's what we have going on for this game today, peeps. We were able to kind of go through the deck and see how the struggles work. Um, again, it might be something that I might have to update this deck in the future and add fan of waves or an extra copy of ordinary rod um, these decks are quite often difficult to get right 100 percent um, all of the time but you want to what we were able to win against mu v max despite all of that so maybe our deck did just enough in order to make it there i thought our opponent who i believe is flow tk check out their channel if you got a chance already um be sure to check them out and uh i think they played well I think they played really well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. That helps boost the YouTube algorithm a lot. I can't stress that enough. If you're a new viewer to this channel or if you've always been watching, double check to make sure that you've been subscribed. I've got a lot of longtime homies that are like, yo, Zach, I totally forgot that I haven't subscribed to your channel in the past year. Sorry, dude. Uh, so feel free to double check there if you haven't already. Would be really great. We just, 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 just surpassed 7,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to all the help from everyone and all the support until now. Um, getting the 7,000 is something that I didn't necessarily think we were going to achieve, um, but we're shooting for the moon. Next stop is 7,500. Let's get it. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this Fusion Strike content. Some of the upgrades. Got the nice little uh, the holiday tree going on. Um, so I'm really happy about all that, trying to keep it festive up in here. Maybe I'll get some hanging lights or something else like that, a Pokemon wreath or something. Let me know what you want in the comments below. I'll spark a discussion. I just came back from my first honeymoon. I, I'm lucky I get to have more than one. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those things where let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to the comments now that I'm back home. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Peace out and have a great one. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video and have yourself a great day. Thanks.